All right, Guns of Liberty here. We're back in the kitchen again. And today we're gonna to be making fire starters out of wine corks. So first thing we're gonna do, take our wife's hard-earned wine corks, drop them into the mason jar. Yeah. Fill that mason jar with isopropyl alcohol or heat. Just be aware they will start to float. There we go. Doing this one handed. I'm sure you can understand why. Because I don't have enough subscribers, I can't afford a tripod. Subscribe, subscribe. And there you have it. We're going to come back to this in about a day. And I'm going to show you what happens and how we're going to use them as fire starters. Alright. It's been a day. Our fire starters have been hanging out in their jar starting to swell up. I'm going to use a toothpick because I don't want to get fuel on the hand that I'm going to be holding the lighter in. I don't want this to be one of those YouTube videos. No open flames near the jar of flammable liquid. Pause it. Alright, dropped my lighter off the porch, but we're back in business. We're going to try this again in a little bit lower light. It was a little hard to see during the daylight. Just because it is alcohol, it's a nice bright blue flame. But there you have it. That is a cork fire starter. And you saw how fast it took up. If you had a jar of these with your camping gear, you'd have more than enough material to light multiple campfires every night of your trip. You could stick them down inside of a small plastic bottle or some kind of capped um, container and they will burn and burn and burn. Probably use them for cooking or anything that you really needed to use them for, but mostly just uh, makes for a nice fire starter. All it takes is a little bit of alcohol and a cork. Little cork campfire action for you. I don't think you'd have trouble lighting a fire with these. <laughs> 